Okay. So what are some of the biggest mistakes you see businesses making uh, on YouTube? Oh my gosh, you're asking great questions today. Uh, biggest <laughs> mistake number one is uh, there is no cohesive programming strategy. And what I mean okay. by that is you're making the videos that you want to make when you want to make them without much regard for the search traffic, the trending value, um, or even like the title structure. For example, we had a seven figure company on our, on our call yesterday on our workshop. And, you know, he, he has his business name in every single video, you know, and he goes, well, Gary V puts episode one or episode two. And I'm like, Hey, call me when you're Gary V. Right. Um, you know, you hear you, Gary Vee. <laughs> yeah, totally, man. Like, so, so here's the thing: when when a customer goes to the web and and searches mm -hmm. for something, they don't care who delivers them the value. They don't care if it's Home Depot. The most anti corporate person in the world will still watch a Home Depot video on how to fix a, a leaky sink if their sink is leaking right now. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. so you've got to have a content strategy that does two things. One, it understands the search words, the SEO that is big in your industry. That's one, that brings people in to your channel, okay? Mm -hmm. But that's only 10% of YouTube. 90% of YouTube is the suggested algorithm. It's them referring videos to you after you've watched the first one, right? So you gotta have a strategy that's like, okay, here's the keyword search terms we're gonna do, right? Like. Um, you, you know, um, how to buy a house in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. but then we're going to make five videos four four more, five more videos that are interesting mm -hmm. and, and that are, that are talk more about our brand and our values that if a customer watched this, then the mm -hmm. algorithm will suggest these videos to them mm -hmm. and okay, interesting. watching. So, you know, a great, a great way to do that is like, you know how to buy a house in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. But then you make another one that's not keyword engine based. That's like biggest mistakes Cincinnati house buyers make, you know, mm -hmm. in 2021. So imagine yeah. you're watching, you're watching how to buy a house in Cincinnati. And then, cause you want, yeah. cause you search for that. And then the next video is like biggest mistakes. And you're yeah, like, that. To watch that. would you agree? Right. So yeah. that's, that's the, the content strategy that you have to think about, you know, um, we have a client right now who, who, uh, we're doing all this done for you work, right? They're producing the videos and we edit them and we do all the stuff and we do offer that service for, for higher end clients. Mm -hmm. She's just throwing stuff to us. She's wonderful. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to say that again. This person is doing great stuff and they're doing just wonderful. Uh, but there isn't a strategy to it. And that's what we're helping them to develop is, is, okay. is like, okay, all right. I love the videos you're sending. But let's create some some like silos here. Let's let's kind of have like you know uh, a how to do silo. We'll do a bunch of how to do videos over here. But then let's do some biggest mistakes videos and let's do them over here. That way we know what you're filming and we know what mm. we're going to be editing and we can create a workflow for that. And so what I see business owners doing is like I'm making a video about topic A and then topic C and then topic F, and you're just bouncing all over the place. When instead, mm -hmm. you need to make like five or six videos on one topic, and then upload those, boom, 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 boom. Then make another silo of videos on another related topic, and go boom, 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 right? You do mm -hmm. that for a year, uh, your number one lead flow will be from YouTube, I promise you. Wow.